Hey guys, welcome back. It is Danielle here from Vogue Bandwagon, and today, as promised, I'm going to be reviewing the new Makeup Forever uh, Matte Velvet Skin. I have high hopes for this. I haven't read any reviews on it, so I don't know what other people are thinking. And coincidentally, just after I kind of complained that the Ultra HD does not have enough coverage, they come out with a full coverage foundation. So I was super excited to pick this up and try it out. We're also going to be doing a wear test today. So I am going out today. I'm going to wear it all day. I get back from work around like 6. I will check in throughout the night. So it's going to be a long wear test. We are going to put this to the test. I'm going to put this on now in front of camera so we can do a first impressions as well. Okay, I zoomed you guys on in a bit so you can get a closer look. Side note, I don't straighten my hair too often. And look at how long it's gotten. My hair grows like sickly fast. I can't imagine like what would happen if I took the proper amount of like nutrients on a daily basis. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a primer. I got a brand new beauty blender. I'm going to go in with my tried and true Smashbox primers. I have the pore minimizing and the photo finish. I'm going to go in with a tiny amount of the pore minimizing and put this on my T-zone. Then with the Smashbox Photo Finish, I'm going to put this all over. So I tried the tester on in the store, not on my face, just on my hand. And my first thought was, holy crap, this is thick. So, that's just like a tiny amount. It's really thick thick like but it feels really nice tempted to use my concealer on like this area here like I normally do but I want to give this a true test of how much it covers okay so because I'm unfamiliar with this I am going to put it on the back of my hand and go from there because I don't know how much to use I'm gonna start with a little bit I am using the same color as my Ultra HD foundation. Okay, so a little bit did nothing. But that could be also because I have a new beauty blender, so it might be like soaking right into the beauty blender. So just because this is new, I'm going to take a little bit more than I normally would. Goes on really easily, blends nicely. So my forehead usually looks the best when I put foundation on and right now, it's looking amazing. I didn't use a lot, but it's still like looking like my skin. So forehead's the easy part for me. Let's go in on the rest of the face and see what happens. I think I'm going to try like this part with a brush to see the difference. So far with the Beauty Blender, this looks so good on the skin. You can barely tell there's foundation there. Oh. So I am going to go over with a little bit more just on the spots that I want more coverage. This is supposed to be a full coverage, so I assume that it's buildable. Oh yeah. Covering very nicely. 
without looking kinky at all. Looks so nice. So far, I'm impressed. I'm using a little bit more than I would have thought, but I honestly think it's just because of the new Beauty Blender and it's just soaking it all in. Yeah, this goes on so easy, not having any issues with it at all. And even though it like felt thick on my hand, it's not feeling thick on my skin. It's covering up this little bit of redness very well. So we'll see how it does with that bad boy. Oh my god, it looks so good. Like it just looks so smooth. And even though it's matte, it's still, like my skin still looks like it's alive. Okay, now let's go in with a brush. I'm going to use the MAC 170. Okay, so far I can already tell that I like this way better with the Beauty Blender. It still looks good with the brush, but I feel like when I used the Beauty Blender, it was just way easier to blend. Again, still looks outstanding with the brush, but I am going to go in with the Beauty Blender to build coverage in this area here. Okay, my first impressions are like, wow, this looks outstanding. It's creasing a little bit in my nose, but nothing like terrible. It looks so smooth on the skin. Not picking up any texture, not um, accentuating my pores at all. It covered everything pretty well. And it was super blendable. Matte finish, but velvety matte finish, which I love because it didn't like dry down to look powdery. It still gives you some life. So I'm going to go ahead and use this with Tarte Shape Tape. This is in Fair Neutral. a little too light so I'm going to add a bit of foundation to it. I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender. The finish of this foundation is so good. I'm going to take Bye Bye Pores. Just on a beauty blender and set this area here. And then I'm going to set the rest of the face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It even feels like smooth on the skin, not too much comes off when I touch it. Okay, I'll come in close so you guys can see what it looks like with the powder on. It looks so good. Impressed so far, hopefully this Holds up throughout the day because it 
if it does, I think I have my new favorite. Don't disappoint me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use some butter bronzer, some NARS blush, and put my eyebrows on and finish up my eyes. Basically, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then we will start the wear test and I'll check in with you guys throughout the day. Hey guys, we are doing our eight hour check-in. Um, as you can see in this lighting, there is a little bit of oil on my nose, but everywhere else is not that oily. So I'm impressed with that. I don't really like how it like sat with the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, it looks a little dried here, which doesn't usually happen for me. Um, I was eating, so it did transfer off a little bit there. Um, but no real creasing anywhere. And as far as texture goes, like it still looks good. I had my sunglasses on, so it all came off. But like with a quick powder touch up, um, I'd be happy. But um, yeah, say um one more time. No, I'm uh, pretty impressed so far. Still liking it. Okay, we are doing our 10 hour check-in. And honestly, I'm not mad about it. For 10 hours, it's held up pretty well. Um, I do have quite a bit of oil on my face, but what I do like, unlike some of my other foundations, is foundations is when I get this much oil on my face um, usually foundations start to separate but this has stayed quite smooth other than this spot that transferred off when um, I ate like nothing has creased nothing has become cakey other than the fact that I didn't like how it um, how my tart shape tape sat on top so what's great is that like I'm so after 10 hours for the foundation to still be like on my face looking okay I can just take a blotting paper and maybe a little bit of powder and I'll be good so like that's fine with me because what happens is when you get really oily sometimes the foundation will slide off or like separate and this looks perfect other than the oil coming through so I can deal with that after 10 hours like we're good this is, I'm, I can do it. I like it, I dig it. Even then, like when you see this in person, the oil doesn't look, like it don't look greasy. Um, it still just look, my skin still looks smooth. I feel like the camera kind of picks up the shine more than in person. Okay, I'm doing my final check-in before I wash off my makeup. It's 10 o'clock, so that's 13 hours, just about, and not much has changed. Foundation is still in place. Ugh, lighting's so bad. And not much more oil has come through. It just kind of has come off on my nose and my chin. But overall, I think I'll be adding this foundation to my top favorites for oily skin. Now I'm going to go wash my face and go to bed. Bye.